G'day guys, uh, it's uh, Jesse back again um, with another video. In uh, this video I'll be showing you um, that uh, you can run Adobe Photoshop Touch um, on the Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 2. As you can see, um, this is the um, Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And um, yeah, so um, before starting the Photoshop Touch, um, make sure you have uh, disabled uh, the power saving um, else uh, the Photoshop touch will lag a bit which you don't really want you don't want to use Photoshop touch uh, uh, when it's um, when it's lagging and uh, yeah so you have um, Photoshop touch there it is so um, oops yeah so uh, it's booting up it's booting up and uh, yeah so it's uh, it's booted and uh, so um, I have to use the S Pen because uh, I mean I expect you guys are going to use the S Pen when you are using Photoshop Touch otherwise there's no real point of using Photoshop Touch um, so uh, oh, sorry um, yeah, so you could start off with a new project. Um, you could uh, start by just uh, clicking on the plus uh, button. You could mention uh, the width and the height and uh, start off with a new project. Yeah, so I'm not going to really do that. Um, the reason I have this video, I'm doing this video, is uh, to show you guys that you can run the Photoshop Touch on your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, and you have. Um, you can import your uh, pictures, your JPEGs, and uh, start editing. Um, you have tutorials. Um, the tutorials are uh, really good. Um, there are quite a few. Um, I highly recommend you go through them if you are a new user. Um, it'll give you an idea how to uh, start off uh, with the Photoshop. And uh, just get out of here. So you have the int uh, you have the intro as well. So what happens is uh, you could begin a tutorial, or begin a project, so you can begin a project. Just say I want to begin a project, and uh, I will import. A wallpaper. Um, so uh, I can just show you how it is. Say so these are the wallpapers I have. Uh, So I am going to import that and uh, add. So what it's going to do is going to add to my new project. Uh, so this is how the interface looks like. Um, it's uh, it's really responsive. And um, at the left, you have all the all the tools. You have the uh, brush tool, the clone stamp tool, the eraser, the blur tool, the lasso and uh, yeah and the selection tool so you have all the tools on the left um, at the top you can add uh, image for editing the frames are on the right um, if you can see here you can add a frame uh, so you have the layers I mean I'm sorry they're not the frames they're the layers so you have the layers I mean I'm sorry they're not the frames they're the layers here so you have the layers on the right um, yeah and uh, you can give a lot of effects uh, which is really cool. So you could go to the effects function and uh, I've got to go to the layer first and the effect. So say I want to give uh, an effect to the wallpaper. There you go. There it is. And uh, yeah, so uh, I could just go and apply and that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, so uh, there are a lot of effects. Um, you have the basic effects, then you have uh, you can stylize. Um, artistic and uh, photo effects as well so uh, yeah and then you have the crop uh, rotate fill and stroke um, add text and uh, all the other bits and pieces um, so the Photoshop touch is really good I highly recommend you uh, if you have the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and if you want to make great use of the S Pen uh, you should have uh, this is a must-have uh, app and uh, I have managed to download it and install it 
on my Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, if you guys um, have any comments and um, you want to know where you can get this uh, uh, PS Touch for your Galaxy Note 2, um, just uh, leave your comments and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for watching my video guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, 